like 60 miles left I think ain't shit Ugh, 63 miles to go hey you getting up good I see you cuddling with your girlfriend down there. Shit, bro. I don't want no trouble. Please. You just want to be left alone with your friend down there? No, just leave me alone. Look, I don't care what you do to whatever corpse you find. I wasn't... What's your name? So you didn't steal that bag. I don't care who you steal from, if you did. Maybe you're in a gang that likes to rob people. I don't know. Are you in a crew? You got some boys wearing hoodies I gotta worry about? Because you steal from me and I'll get your throat out. I don't care who you run around with, you understand? It's mine. I didn't steal it. Alright, good. I don't like thieves. Just get in the car. You're gonna get eaten out here otherwise, and I'm bored. Come on, scoot. Ain't gonna wait forever. Fine. Fuck. See if I give a shit. Nah, I'm good. Thanks. I don't wanna ride. Jesus. Don't be so am sensitive. I said I'm good. Fine. your mind? Hell yeah, get in, let's tear it up. Name's Nate, by the way, thanks for asking. You thirsty? Uh... Here you go. I'm straight, thanks. You're not uptight, are you? This is the fucking apocalypse. This is like nothing. No, I'm just good, all right? All right, all right. You want to tell me about where you come from, at least? You must have been with a crew. Any tail back where you come from? Maybe drop you off, do a double back. No, uh, tail. Damn. I retract my question. There was a girl who I liked, all right. You're arguing semantics, Russ. Give a pal the deets. <sighs> all right. There was seven of us. I didn't have any family there or nothing. They are all at my grand's down in Statesboro. There was a dad who had a daughter about my age. One guy said he used to be a cop, but nobody really believed him. Then a teacher and his wife. 
Leader was this guy, Steve. Go back to the daughter. Steve was a bad dude, but everybody was with him, you know? He said seven was the magic number, so we didn't add nobody to the group. If we found survivors, it was the same every time. He... He... Let it out, Paco. Just... We gonna kill these folks and take their stuff or what? Then bang! They'd be dead. Anyway, I, I couldn't handle that. After weeks of it, I packed my shit up and figured I could make for Grands alone and try to find my family. I slipped out of there. I couldn't live like that. So nobody got down with the daughter then? No, they didn't. What would you give her? Strong six? Just tell me something about her. How was the rat? Give me a little something. Just a taste. Russ, I'm doing you a service here. I gotta get my beak wet. I'll put it right in here. Sure, whatever. Sure, whatever? Come on. All right, maybe someone who wasn't so near and dear to your heart then. What the fuck? Come on, scale of one to ten. What do you think? Ah! Slamming before she was dropped, right? What do you think? Here, get a look. Fuck! Oh, like a nine, right? Get off me! Maybe you got high standards. Oh, hell! If you say five, I'm gonna flip. Five. Tell me, Russ! Five! Fucking five! Oh, come on! Damn it. Would you load that? Bullets in the glove there. Let's look for some supplies in here. See if we can fill up while we're at it. Don't be mad. Fine, be mad. Just stop being a pussy. Alright. Oh shit! Go! Get out! Russ! Get the fuck down, man! You don't want to be there! Get to the truck! I'll cover you! Okay! Get ready! Don't stop running! And keep your head down! Good hustle! What happened to- I'll cover you! Look how good you did! I shouldn't have come with you. Well, it's too fucking late now. You need to relax, Russell. Come on, kid, look at me. This is no big deal. We got this, okay? Okay. First, we're gonna figure out exactly where this asshole is. Just get a quick glance. Down! See? Easy. Now we know where he is, we can fucking get him. All right, yeah. That's the spirit. Let's push this truck for cover. Okay. It's in neutral. Just keep your head down. Shit! Just keep pushing! Shit! Push! End of the road. What now? We're gonna get around the side of the building. We gotta go from cover to cover. Seriously, this time. I'm not fucking around. Yeah, no problem. Easy as pie. Just don't get shot. If we get to that car, we'll be out of the line of fire. 
here. You can cover me first. I'm not fucking around. You cover me, then I'll cover you. Or if you want to go first, that's fine too. I'll cover you. You go first. Just shoot at the window and keep that fucker's head down till I get where I'm going. So then throw me the gun, and I'll do the same. Ready? Yeah. You ready, Russ? Cover my ass now. Remember, don't stop shooting. Fire! All right, throw me the gun, and I'll cover you! Go! Good job! Now what? We get over there and we should be good. Go! Thanks. We're not done yet. Let's see if we can get in around back. Sneak up on this asshole. Follow me. Man, what are we doing? Well, we gotta get in there. Fucker shot at us. Russell, relax, man. When this is over, we're gonna take what we can, head on down to your grams, and have a big old home-cooked meal, all right? Come on. Okay, it's clear. Keep your head down and follow me, you got it? All right, we're gonna be fucking quiet. To sneak up on this son of a bitch and take him out. You hear me? Not a fucking beep. Let's go. I see him. Check through the window. See if there's anyone else. I think I saw a guy. No shit. Grab him. I'll cover you. Do I sneak up? Or just jump out and grab him? Your call. Don't fucking move! Walt! Oh! Get the fuck out of here, you monsters! Whoa, Gramps! I told you not to come back here! Think you could just leave your mask at home? And now you're with this fucking spook! First off, watch the fucking racism. This is my boy. Secondly, I don't fucking know you. We were just passing by like anyone else. Bullshit! You came back to finish us off and take all our food! You've lost your goddamn marbles. She's dying, and now she can see your face. Shut up. She can see who took her from me. Mask? What's he talking about? Fuck if I know. He's crazy. Have you been here before? Russell, don't you start. You tried to kill us for no goddamn reason. If anything, we should take you out for that. Please, just get the fuck out of here. Please leave us alone. What do you say, Russ? Should we just kill these folks and take all their stuff? Are you serious? Maybe. Why not? That's fucked up! There are real fucking monsters out there! No shit. And you're just gonna joke about the shit I see! Fuck you, Nate! I saved your ass! You didn't do shit! Easy, Russ. I'm not hurting no one. And don't you hurt these people either. Come on. Can we still be friends? No.
We were right. There are survivors out here. Still alive? Well, they're gonna be happy to get rescued. So how many are we talking about? Around five, I think. They left a note, so at least we know they want to be found. And I can see smoke in the distance. Probably a camp. I'm gonna try to make contact tonight. Great. Well, just be careful and use your best judgment. We're building a good community here. We want to keep it that way. Of course. far so good. I'm gonna try to talk to him. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. Be careful. Don't try to force him into anything. Just get as many of them as you can. You got it. Hey! Don't you- Vince! Don't fucking move! Who the fuck are you? My name is Tavia. How did you find us? I follow the smoke. I'm a scout for a growing settlement up north. We go out and look for survivors to rescue them. We have food, clean water, and shelter for everyone. We're offering you a chance to help us out and start over. God, this sounds too good to be true, but I think it is. Bonnie, get real. Just because you have to tell the truth all the time doesn't mean everyone else does. If I didn't trust people, I'd be dead. I know that for sure. People can care about you if you let them. Like Leland cared when he let you run off alone? That's enough, Becca. I heard rumors about these places. This guy I was traveling with ditched me trying to find one in his own. He thought... You know what? Let's do this. She looks well fed, right? And clean? We could all use a meal and a hot shower. Wait, you find survivors? Do you find a lot? Not as many anymore, but... Well, we gotta go. Eddie might be there. Why? Look, we need people. Plain and simple. And you folks can decide if you want to come as a group, or split up, or whatever. But I don't want to be out here in the open after dark. So in a few minutes, I'm going to be getting back in my car and on my way. Hopefully, at least some of you will follow me. Chell, why are we even listening to her? She's obviously lying. Even if she's not, I think it's better to just keep on the move. Staying in one place makes you an easy target. I don't care how safe you think it is. That truck stop was a death trap. It was right off the highway, for God's sake. No way you and a bunch of sick old people were going to defend it. I don't like this, guys. We should just walk away. I don't trust her. Of course you don't, Russell. You don't trust anyone. What will it take to convince you? I don't know. Russell, come on. I don't understand what the problem is. Are you really considering staying out here? Foraging for food like fucking raccoons? I mean, then why did we even leave the photos there? Well, it could be a trap. What if they want to kill us? Thank you. Everyone out there is batshit crazy. We've all seen it. Well, we turned out all right, didn't we? Relatively speaking. You clearly outnumber me. If you wanted to overpower me, you could. Hell, I'll even go along as your hostage until you feel safe. No one is gonna hurt you. That's not a bad idea, actually. And I'll do it. Because I know when you guys see this place, you'll change your minds. Look, I know you guys are wary, and you have every right to be. You don't know me from a hole in the ground. And yeah, there are some crazy fuckers out there. All I'm here to do is make an offer. You can come with me, or you can stay here. The choice is yours. So, who wants to come with me? Yeah. I'm going. Yeah. I have to.
I'm... I'm just not sure. We've been out here for so long and seen so much bullshit. I mean, is it really worth getting our hopes up? Of course it is, Russell. Hope is all we've got left. But being smart, that's what's keeping us alive. It's your choice. Again, I'm not trying to force you or convince you. As long as you're willing to obey the rules and pull your weight, you're welcome to come. But you've got to decide now. We're not going to be out this way again for a long time. We understand. I think we've all made up our minds. Well, I guess we have our group. What do you want to do with these? This is a good thing. I know it is. How do we know this will work out? What's the alternative? Staying out here? <laughs>